Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable Miss Dana and all of watch this video First of all, let us praise and thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not forgetting to salawat and greeting that we poured out to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who brought us out of the dark age to the era of the bright light today, namely Islam. May we all have intercessory prayer and the end. Amen. On this occasion, let me stand here to deliver a few sentences in my speech with entitled The Tourism Object in Bumal. Regarding tourist attraction in Bumo, I happen to be not a native Bumo, but I have known the city since I was little, so I will talk about this. Tourist objects are indeed the main destination for tourists who are interested in a place, as well as Bumo. Bungo also is own magnet to attract tourists to visit it. In Bungo, I already have tourist attraction since I was little, such as Pusparagam Garden and ATC. And now, Bungo City already have a lot of tourist objects even up to its area, such as a several waterfalls that have been known to leave area and become tourist objects. Even now, the beautiful parks that are growing up to drill area in Bumo is no less interesting. Even that is not how much and there are still many places that have great potential to be used as tourist object. And then, in my opinion, all of park of Bungo City can be said to be tourist attraction. By creating new habit, by researching awareness, to pay attention to the cleanliness of the surrounding environment. Side having clean air, I think this is the right time during this pandemic we are ready to live healthy and maintain cleanliness. And then the government can rearrange Bumo into a more orderly in beautiful place to live. Furthermore, a beautiful city can also become a tourist attraction and can improve the people's economy to be a better level. I think that's all of my speech. I'm Sakina from third semester and this is my exam. Alhamdulillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh